What's up YouTube, Linux Noob here. So in the past few days I've switched to Zubuntu as my primary Linux distribution and here is why. Now I've been using Peppermint OS 6 for quite some time and I absolutely love it. Like, I still recommend it to everyone, almost everyone, including new users. Uh, it's lightweight, simple, responsive and fast. Uh, almost does everything that you, you would ask for. Uh, of course, if you want to know my full opinion about Peppermint OS 6, check out my review. I'll link the videos uh, down in the description below. Now, the question really becomes is why I had to switch. Uh, I had few complaints about uh, Peppermint OS 6 in general, like a few, nothing really deal breaking, but uh, some little complaints like I really didn't like the menu that they had, I really prefer the whisker menu that comes with the XFCE desktop, uh, and a few other things, but nothing really deal breaking, like nothing I cannot really live without, live it. Uh, but uh, I had to switch uh, because of pretty much like one application. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about Kaden Live. Now, what Kaden Live is, it is pretty much the most robust uh, video editing software that I've seen on Linux. Uh, I use it for all the video editing, all the videos on Linux. Uh, all the videos that you see on this channel are edited on uh, Kaden Live, and it is pretty much the best when it comes to. Uh, video editing software is on Linux. Now, problem with uh, Kaden Live is, as you can see right here, that if you want to run the latest version of Kaden Live, uh, that is 15.04 uh, as of this video, uh, you need uh, KDE Framework 5 or Qt5 Framework and that doesn't come with uh, Ubuntu 14.04 and as you already know Peppermint OS 6 is based on uh, Ubuntu 14.04 uh, long-term support release which is obviously a good decision given that uh, obviously you want your operating system to be supported for as long as you can and uh, long-term support releases of Ubuntu are uh, the choice when it comes uh, to that uh, but problem with that is it doesn't come with uh, it does sorry it comes with the uh, Qt4 framework and uh, the version that you can get of Kaden Live in K Qt4 framework is Kaden Live's 0 0.9.10 uh, and uh, it will Kaden Live will no longer be supported on the Qt4 platform means that you won't get uh, uh, the newer updates of Kaden Live on. Uh, Qt4 uh, framework, so uh, you are pretty much stuck with that version of Kaden Live in there. Uh, and as I said, I use Kaden Live for all my video editing purposes on Linux, so I need the latest version of Kaden Live, and that's why I, that is one reason I had to switch to the point releases of Ubuntu. So this is what I'm running right now as my primary Linux distribution, Zubuntu 15.04. Now, the question becomes is, why did I pick Zubuntu over any other distribution? Like, there are a lot of uh, good Linux distributions out there. Why specifically Zubuntu? And the answer is pretty much in the, is in the name. Like, I love XFCE desktop. It's my go-to desktop environment wherever, whenever I have the choice. And I also prefer Ubuntu-based distributions over the other platforms. So uh, Zubuntu was really the choice for me. And now, uh, of course, XFC as a desktop is more functional than LXD. Uh, it is a bit more resource intensive, like it uses a bit more resource compared to what Peppermint OS 6 did. Uh, like a uh, bit more memory uses and kind of stuff like that, but. As you can see right here, I have 8 gigs of memory installed on this uh, machine, so that is not really an issue for me. But uh, if you are running uh, Linux on a system that doesn't have that, 
uh, you might prefer like if you're using it on really older hardware obviously go with peppermint os 6 and at the same time uh, running the latest version of ubuntu does mean that it comes with all the updated packages and everything you pretty much get the latest uh, packages uh, out of ubuntu now there's one downside to using the point release of ubuntu and that is uh, the support or the duration of support that you're gonna get uh, of course all the ubuntu point releases now come with uh, only nine months of support and i have to pretty much update my system my operating system to uh, the next version of ubuntu or zubuntu that is going to be 15.10 and in i guess uh, this will be supported uh, till january uh, but i'll update pretty much when the next uh, version comes out so that is one downside uh, not everyone definitely wants to update their operating system every nine months so uh, you might uh, consider that as well but uh, this is it for me right now i'm on zubuntu and I'm happy with it, how it works. I've themed it and customized it to how I like it. Added the dock down there. And pretty much how I like it, I, I've you applied the themes that I like. And so this is it for me now. Let me know if you have any suggestions and leave it down in the comments. Also give me your f feedback, any kind of feedback that you have. It really helps to grow the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.